The pandemic has tested restaurants like never before. Already tens of thousands have closed, but some are finding innovative ways to hang on. Um, and we want to shine a spotlight on these establishments at a time when they need it most. This is Restaurant Resurgence. Restaurant Resurgence! You better sing with that run! Yay! She took it to church. I love Jesse. All right, my next guest is a head chef at Prep and Pastry in Tucson, Arizona. He's been using the power of Zoom to keep his eatery alive and stay connected to his customers. Please, everybody, welcome Kyle Nottingham. Hey, hey. Man, a head chef with some rad artwork on his arms. I love you already. So, yeah. Kyle, um, meet Sherilyn Parvesh. Hello. Hi, hi. How's it going, guys? Good. I'm hungry. <laughs> yes. So, yes. So, Perfect. Kyle, before we get started, tell us about um, your restaurant and what you faced. So, here in Prep and Pastry, we're in Tucson, Arizona. We're a really fast-paced brunch restaurant, uh, and we're in a college town, you know? So, when COVID hit, it took a lot of our business away, and we were pretty scared. I don't know if we could have made ends meet. So, we had to get really creative. We had to do Zoom cooking classes. Uh, hosted by me, and what we wanted to do was deliver the ingredients for guests to cook at home, right? They didn't even have to leave their houses, so I kind of just showed them how to cook some simple dishes. They stayed at home. Everyone was safe, but we could still engage with our guests. Wow, that's very creative. So uh, what are we making, and how do we start? Yeah, so we're making our famed avocado toast. So we, we call it the guac toast here, mm -hmm. uh, but we're doing a little bit of a southwestern, you know, style of it, all right? Okay. So you guys already have your scrambled eggs, your beautiful fluffy scrambled eggs ready yes. to go, and your piece of sourdough toast. And yeah. we're going to go ahead and make the avocado base, okay? Okay. We're going to do a little bit of our minced shallot in there, a little bit of minced garlic, sounds great, a little chopped up jalapeno, right? We're in mm -hmm. the Southwest. We're in Tucson. We can use jalapenos. All in there. Um, I'm going to put a little chopped cilantro in oh. there as well. And then you guys are going to do a nice little squeeze of fresh lime juice. Yes, I love lime. And then go lime. ahead and just start mashing, mashing that avocado up um, as good as you can. Do you mash it with like a fork? Smooth, Is that what you're using? Puree. Mash it with a fork. You can use your hands. Use your, use your fingers. Get dirty. But yeah, just use it with a fork. Stir it around. <laughs> Chef, can, is it okay if I so, yeah, use go a ahead lot and of keep cilantro? On... <laughs> no. Do you not like That's cilantro? That's totally fine. I think I'm one of those people who like reacts to it very badly. Oh, oh I think you should not That's use so the cilantro. <laughs> <laughs> Just throwing it out there. Okay, so what's next after we do that? After we mash? All right. So after this is nice and mashed, I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in mine. Yes. Um, we're gonna start building, right? So. Oh. We're gonna put the avocado mash on top of the toast and, and be pretty pr pretty diligent with it. You know, make it make a nice high coating on your sourdough toast. I feel like I'm gonna nail this. I feel like I'm doing spectacular. I think you guys are crushing it. I think you guys are crushing it already. <laughs> Beautiful. It. That was great, it's guys. Not smashed. It's fine. You like it chunky. Yeah, totally. Um, okay, so after we Thanks. spread it, huh? then do we put the egg on? The eggs go right on top of the guacamole. Correct, correct. Okay. So go ahead and get your scrambled eggs. Um, kind of, you know, place them from the pan right on top of the avocado there. And again, we're kind of going for nice heights here. We don't want it to look like flat, boring toast. Um, get a little height. Pile them on. Okay, well, mine were kind right. of pre-cooked in a very beautiful flat way, but yes. Um, <laughs> Just fluff it up. Just give it some fluff. Stack those things up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what do we, right. what do, we so, do with these other ingredients? Okay. All right, so this is where the fun part comes in. This is where we get add our style to the dish, okay. right? This is we're gonna garnish now. All right, so we're gonna take a little bit of our <laughs> cilantro um, chipotle crema on Ooh. top and kind of just like so some more salsa cilantro soup for Parvesh. Very little. <laughs> Parvesh very loves little. it. Very light. Just very light. No, he's, he's totally okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's good to go on that. Um, and then we're kind of gonna sprinkle that across the top, the rest of the ingredients. So you're gonna get your pickled shallots okay. and kind of just sprinkle them across the top. There you oh my go. gosh, I'm so excited to take a bite of this. You over there. Okay, there you now go. can we eat it? Almost time to eat. Let's do a little bit of a fresh, you know, cilantro sprig. But if you don't want the cilantro on top of that. This looks and good. then our final step is the queso fresco on top, all right? So right on top. Okay, let's eat it. Okay. Okay, I'm taking a bite. Are I'm going ready? in. Cheers. Oh, oh. Sorry, not, not even a nice fork. Oh, oh. she got it. Oh. No. What? Too late. <laughs> I'm gonna fall for it. Mm. Yeah, we're clashing. Mm. We knew that. Mm. 
We, we serve up nothing but class here, Kyle. <laughs> yep. Oh my there gosh, mine's go. really Delicious. good. Really good. Mine's really spicy. <laughs> Mine is too, and I love it. You have extra That's jalapeno. really delicious, Kyle. So yeah, Tucson, we're in the Southwest. We like it spicy here. So a really easy dish for you guys to execute at home, but this is one of our favorites. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. If you're in Tucson, y'all gotta check them out. That is literally delicious. Now with this delivered to my room after the show. <laughs>